to see who goes first. Here's mine. You pick yours. Let me just keep happening. Okay. I'm um, nom 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 nom. I would very much like to be on the play here. Boink. Boink. And we've already, yeah, we've already cut. No land hat, man. I'll keep it. Alright. Go in the six. Oh dear. Ay, 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 ay. You know what I'm supposed to do is table shuffle here. By the way, just randomly, something to drink. Very nice. Yeah, I just, I decided to go out, and since I'm going to be spending the week by myself, uh, might as well spend the whole week drunk, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear I don't have a problem. Uh, fix this. So how long are you here? Oh, I'm just here until Friday. Okay. So if you want to get any games in, it's got to be by then. Wow. This is... Really weird player. Okay, now we have the whole thing on screen. Da 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 da. Okay, let's try six. Let's see how six treats me. I'll keep it. Okay. Start off with. Vile. Mm. Pass turn. Uh, draw. As best I can, shut off those counter spells. I'll play an island. Yes. Go ahead. Get you out of the way. Hmm. I'll take one. Go to 19. Dahlia. Guardian of Thraven. Yep. Alright. Pastor? Draw. Mm hmm. I'll play Misty Reinforced. And I'll pass. Combat? Yep. It's yep. Just over by her lonesome over there. Pester? Uh, fetch. Seventeen. Okay. Hmm. Anything on end of turn? Yep. Oh, well, I did say that. I'm sorry. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we have a brainstorm. All right. Brainstorm brews over here. Master, next instant or sorcery can't be countered. Draw a card. Well, that's interesting. 
Um, it's just a two, one mana. Ah. And I'll pass. Wow. Uh, discarding. Discarding Crystal Brand. Alright. I'm going to pop in a Phyrexian Revoker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name Sneak Attack. Okay. Wait, I don't know that it's actually even visible. Uh, Wasteland? Yep. Oh -ho! Combat? Take four. Yes. Pass turn. Okay. Play a Lotus Petal. Yes. And pass. End of turn. Aegis of the Gods. Okay. There we are. Combat? Mm hmm. Six? Go to seven. Pass turn. Yeah. Show and tell. Let me see if I can do this correctly. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, well not necessarily a misplay. I did mess myself up a little bit. I couldn't have known that. It's not a strict misplay. Alright, I can't put anything down, and you're dropping... No, I mean, for show and tell, I have, oh, oh. I have nothing to put down for it. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Dun 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 dun. Yeah! Hey, buddy! Your turn. Even a top deck doesn't get me out of that one. Sacrifice, draw a card. Well, we got there. Mm. I'll do it. We'll bounce the Emrakul. Combat? I'm gonna win. Yes. Pass turn. I don't think there's anything to do. I can do against the uh, yeah. Marcus. So what happened is I had an Enlightened Tutor in hand. Had I not wastelanded, I could have paid two for the Enlightened Tutor because of Thalia, mm -hmm. and then spent the other two mana to. Uh, so Oblivion Ring is now on top of the deck thanks to Enlightened Tutor, and then spend the other two mana to draw the Oblivion Ring and set it for a show and tell. So when you get out Emrakul, I get out Oblivion Ring. Can you just done that in the turn anyway? 
Um, so, oh, I, no, I can't cast Oblivion Ring at instant speed. But you just do it after I play show and tell. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You, you, had, you cast show, oh, so what I'm saying is I had the Wasteland out and I, I wasted your Volcanic Island. But in order to do what I just described, I need four mana. I need two for Enlightened Tutor and then two right, right. for one and then Horizon Canopy to get it in my hand. But if you have three mana, end of turn you play Enlightened Tutor for two. Yes. And I guess you have to, you, oh yeah, you need four for four. Uh, thanks to Thalia. Yeah, unfortunately. She's, she's great and she's not so great. But, uh, yeah. I, I think I still needed her for that match. So let's go to sideboard, shall we? So that happened. And you'll be on play? Mm -hmm. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Let me keep seven. I'll keep. Likewise. I'll pay two for pro. Usually I sort by what they're doing first. Wait a minute. Okay, that is... Okay. I gave myself a little bit of a heart attack thinking I had eight. But no, I don't. Okay, so... Land, uh, Plains, Plains, Caracas, Vile is almost a land. Dahlia, Revoker, and Enlightened Tutor. And I'll play Revealed. No need to write yeah. it down. Yeah. Draw. Well, that Caracas makes me... It makes it an auto key, pretty much. And insert Blood Moon here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I still have that. File? Mm -hmm. Resolves? Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Play brainstorm? Yes. Two. And yay, it doth resolve. I know the top card and I don't want it there. Oh, okay, okay. Your turn. <sighs> Through the breach is five. I have Thalia. Show and tell, sneak attack through the breach. You already see the hate on uh, through the breach. You already see the hate on anything expensive. You can always find a blood moon to stop Caracas. Huh. And you are fetching basics. You're getting basics. I guess it doesn't matter in the case of the mountain. That's just playing around wasteland. It's not playing around blood moon. Um, I'm still in upkeep. I would like to wonder why this counter is sticky. I haven't even brought the beer over here. And then, I would like to cast Thalia. Sure. Master. 
Gonna have a drink or saving it for the booze cube? I've been sipping. Alright. Booze cube coming up. Watch the next video. <laughs> um, okay, so one more for through the breach. That's disconcerting. I remember through the breaches mana. It's sneak attack plus the act one activation. So fixed sneak attack, I suppose. And sneak of the devil. Hi. Okay. We're in upkeep. Card in hand is three? Three. Three, okay. Two. My hand is forced though. I'll draw. So you can't daze me, bro. Uh, I would like to cast Rexian Revoker. Mm -hmm. I'll name Sneak Attack. I would like to swing at you for two. Go into 14. We'll crack this is out. We have a revealed hand, so it makes it a little confusing. Pass turn. Yes. Ooh, land. Go. Oh, we don't have it quite yet, do we? Tap Aether Vow? Mm -hmm. Spirit? I was hoping I could get you on a brainstorm there. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping. Good. Alright. Combat? Three? You plop in a G Daddy to block? I'll take three. Good. Pass turn. Um, okay. Uh, 
activate sneak attack. This doesn't look good. Sure. Emrakul? Okay. Go to combat. Return Emrakul to hand. Make you do it again. It I might as well make you do it. Combat? <laughs> Cards in hand now? Two. Two, okay. Two. I don't think I can afford to waste you. I think I need this to be a permanent to sack. Three. Four. Jeez. Jeez. What do I even leave? Five, six. And then you get me down to five. Okay. Sack this, shuffle in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They say that death and taxes is favored over sneak attack. I'll Sometimes it feels like it, but you'll pass the turn, you say? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. Yeah. Maybe not so much. Combat? Yep. Swing three? Go to seven. Okay, I think I need to keep the spirit, not just because it's the clock, but because I'm trying to shut down any, like, brainstorms for the, the big creatures or whatnot. On the other hand, watch you have it in your hand right now. You just show it to me on concede. And oh. got it. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Your turn. End of turn? Tutor? Mm -hmm. Pithing needle? Pithing needle? Is it pithing needle? I think it's pithing needle. Yeah. I always said pithing needle. I, I did too, and then I heard it from a number of people. It's pithing. Oh dear. Looks like it would be pithing. It's like a gif versus jif thing, maybe. Draw. Needle. I think this is an instance where we cast it before combat. Debating that. Um. Spell Pierce is live, Daze is live, Force of Will is obviously live. Yeah, well, yeah, the problem is that Force of Will puts me down another turn on the That's clock. right. Well, you're already not able to use your draw spells as effectively as you'd like. Ponder is now index for three. Um, yeah, sure, it's good. Obviously, aiming sneak attack. Combat. Go to four. Pass turn. Can I even see? Okay. I might have been a little bit too far back. Actually, 
Oh god. Yes. Yeah, I think your lands are a little too far back as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was thinking like Caracas is Okay, so go ahead. That would be the stupidest now, now you have top one, deck. one draw. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Here we go! Mom. Okay, I'll concede. <laughs> that was close. It was, you're right. Alright. Here we go. On to game three, I'll be on the play. <sighs> Here we go. I do remember Goblin Sharpshooter being like 20 bucks. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, Deathrite Shaman kind of shut, it didn't shut the deck down necessarily, but when you're having to put Tarfire in your main board just to fight Deathrite Shaman, you're, you're not necessarily doing something terribly productive. And if you don't have some hate on him, then you will just lose. Make sure that's seven. I'll keep. Yeah, me too. I'll start out with... Every game. Yeah. Um, I'll play first as well. Pass turn. I'll play grab a drink. Actually, I should probably leave some for the boost cube. We'll do that. I'll get some later. Oh, by the way, watch your, uh, make sure you're keeping stuff ahead enough so that it shows up on camera. Yeah. Is my deck okay? My graveyard? Um, yeah, I, I can see that a little bit. Your, your Force of Will is behind your deck, but I guess that's understandable. Play Lotus Petal. Yep. And Are we going to do it? Scalding Turn. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to do a turn one show or blow. Yeah. Oh. Ancient Den, because it's an Enlightened Tutor deck. Phyrexian Revoker. Mm -hmm. Lotus Petal. Okay. Pass turn. Ancient Tutor. Good God! <laughs> Did you just say your turn? Yes. Okay. I saw my life flash before my eyes. Don't do that. I swear, you're going to show up one of these days. I'll waste the ancient tank. That's a very legacy thing, isn't it? To just not even play the land, just like, uh, ah, it's a spell. Yep. <laughs> just point it at the thing you want to kill. That's it. Combat? Sure. Two? Seventeen. Combat. Mm -hmm. Going to 13. Alright. Vile. Sure. Pass turn. Pass turn. Okay, God. And that's one of the reasons why I can't play Sneak and Show. I can't make myself for turns like that. I can count on, actually, no, I can still count on one hand the number of times I've seen players lose from the position of sneak attack is on board, they've swung once with, like, Emrakul or Grizzlebrand, and then they're just waiting for them to draw the next one. Yeah. Uh. Combat? Mm -hmm. Derp? Nine. Pass turn. Pass. 
That's four mana. It's three because Phyrexian Revoker is keeping Lotus Petal down. If he had the ability to use the Lotus Petal, that means Sneak Attack is up. Phyrexian Revoker isn't naming that. So... Combat. Mm -hmm. This feels like a white mini deck. Turn your creatures sideways. Nevermore. Here's here's where we're gonna do it. Okay. So he knows I have mana to pay for spell piercing days. Days isn't really a sneak and show card though, is it? Nah, I haven't seen it. Most lists don't, right? I I believe you. Spell I'll pierce. I'll pay the two. Okay. Nevermore results? Yep. Now here's the trick. What do I name with it? I'm strongly tempted. If he had show and tell, he probably would have already played it. And just finished the game right there. So I'm going to name Sneak Attack with Nevermore. And also, I'm not entirely positive. He may, maybe he does side in some number of Through the Breach because he knows that Phyrexian Revoker is a card. Maybe. But he can't get to five mana right. I mean, another Ancient Tomb or a City of Traitors. That would do it. Yeah. And he fetched, so he's on the one turn. Oh, here we go. Through the Breach. Actually, he can't. Two Ancient Tombs puts him to zero. Yeah. Also, oh. this is my hand. Sneak attack! Sneak, 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 show, show. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, so... It's awkward. Yeah, just a little. And then another Krakus, because... Show and tell into Krakus and to bounce. Yeah. I'm being silly over here. Yeah, hands like that. As much as I love sneak and show, and not even that long ago, I thought it was the best deck in Legacy. Yeah. Maybe it's now. Maybe it's not now, but it's still an extremely strong contender. Nevertheless, I can't play it because of consistency issues like that. On the other hand, I says think the bug running, infect player. Running dig through time. I I agree with that a hundred percent. The selection, you fill your graveyard fairly quickly. Four brainstorm, four ponder, lots of fetch lands, counter spells. I think. At a couple of dig through times is where you want to be. I don't know about any more than two, though. Yeah. I mean, you're running overtake, right? Is that what it's called? Overmaster. Overmaster. Yeah, it's just filler. Do you think it goes in there instead? I think, well, yeah, I'm running at least two. Yeah. I think you could put Overmaster, I don't know what your sideboard consists of, but Overmaster seems more like a sideboard card. It seems like it fills the slot like a like Red Elemental Blast in some Sneak and Show or Miracles decks. Yeah. Where you're just you're running that's the only red card you're running in the whole deck because blue is so prevalent. It seems like it's filling that role for you. Except in this case it's drawing you a card to help you find the combo. Yeah. Um, given that, I think you'd rather have Dig Through Time, which does the same thing to a greater effect, but not in the first couple turns. I think I would take out one Misdirection. Okay. Because I have two right now. It's two and misdirection. one Overmaster. I like Overmaster. I mean, a lot of there's a lot of counter magic in Legacy, so. Yeah. And I like Misdirection to fight the, the hand attack because you are a combo deck. Yeah. But it is still hand disadvantage. And you can get selection and card advantage through Dig Through Time. Mm hmm. I take that for whatever it may be worth from a guy who's had how much to drink already. <laughs>